Hey, everybody. Um, I just wanted to talk about binaural beats. I've been thinking a lot about it lately, um, and I wanted to let people know about it if they haven't. I'm sure some of you probably do, but hey, not everyone knows about it. Um, it's basically a FLAC file. I mean, you can probably get it in MP3 or whatever, but it, uh, it works with hertz, like different hertz ranges. Um, let me load this up so I can read you some information about it. Um, and your brain works by hertz, too. Um, basically, what binaural beats do is take two separate hertz, and it plays them in uh, stereo headphones. Uh, you need them because you know the left and right effect, and it's close to your ears. You can't use speakers. Um, it uses two different hertz and one ear will have one hertz, one ear will have the other, and your brain will, I guess, subtract one from another, and bam, it'll have a certain hertz, which supposedly you can't hear with the human ears, and headphones and the such can't produce certain hertzes, so it has to, you know, has to manipulate it and all this. It could also be the placebo effect, and if you don't know what the placebo effect is, it's when you hear something or someone tells you something does something and you listen to it and you actually believe it and your body reacts um, but it's actually not doing anything but you believe it so it does do something mentally you know could be true I don't know it could work might be placebo whatever but let me read some of these to you um, less than 40 hertz are gamma waves which is our everyday brain hertz um, 13 to 40 hertz is beta waves, which is pretty much attention when you're wide awake, you know, you're moving around. You're within that hertz range, and that's beta. There's four states of consciousness. Beta, alpha, theta, delta. And 13 to 40 is beta. Right now, you're in beta, looking around, blah, 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 thinking constantly. 7 to 13 hertz is alpha waves, which is associated with relaxation while staying awake. You know, like, when you lay down to go to bed and you're still awake but you're relaxed. You know, stuff like that. You're an alpha. Blah, blah, blah. 4 to 7 hertz is theta, which is when you're in dreams or in deep meditation. See, your hertz, I guess it's like your brain calms down slowly and you become more relaxed. Less than 4 hertz is delta waves, which is associated with deep dreamless sleep. People believe you cannot reach the delta, but some believe you can, like shamans, Indians, you know, stuff like that, probably even some modern day people. They believe you can reach that consciousness while you're awake. You know, I'm not that experienced with it. You know, think of monks and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, um, there's a program called Neuroprogrammer. You can look that up. There's a two-week free trial for that. You can get a brainwave generator. There's all these different programs that have them. They have certain settings for, you know, ADD, uh, concentration, creativity, relaxation, uh, breaking habits, breaking uh, addictions, stuff like that. You know, it's therapeutic. I don't know. It's not hypnosis, but um, this one program, Neuroprogrammer, uh, when you get so relaxed, it has these scripts that play women and men talking while you're so relaxed, and you know you 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 believe it, and it changes your life. Like you like to exercise, and then you you exercise more. I don't know if it works. I'll let that up to you. Um, I've done it maybe 15 times so far. Some of them are 10 minutes. Some of them are 20 minutes. The one I've been using lately is an hour long. I mean, I don't have the patience, so sometimes I don't. I've never completed the entire hour, but I guess I should. But I do about 25, 30 minutes, and I just, sometimes I get bored of it. Sometimes the noises get annoying, you know. But I, to me, it sort of worked. Like, I had more visuals. I felt relaxed. Um, I got numb. It was sort of like, I don't know, it was like, like, you know when your hand goes to sleep? It's sort of like that, but your body, I don't know. I'd like to hear from people, like, what they think about it, and if they've done it, and if they've felt anything. It's supposed to comment or whatnot. I'll put some links up. I'll, I'm going to link uh, to my lucid dreaming video, too, if you don't know anything about lucid dreaming and you want to check that out. It's another cool thing. It's not the same thing, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'll link I'll link the brainwave generator and the neuroprogrammer in case you want to check them out. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I'll play it a little bit for you. I mean, it feeds back really bad, so you're probably going to be like, what the heck was that? It doesn't sound, I don't know, I'll try to play it through the headphones, but the way I'm recording right now, you'll probably hear it feed back through, and it's just not going to sound good, but let me see here. Let's find out what we can do. All right. Yeah, I could hear it. Sorry about that if it got too loud, but... Yeah, you probably have no idea what it sounded like, but just check it out. Uh, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.